Change the blade of Olympus. Let the rage of Sparta fuel your blade. Yes, we now have the blade of Olympus back in our possession. But we can use it all the time. It's the replacement for the rage of the titans, which you had in God of War 2, which just powered up your attacks. And now we... Oh yeah, now we have to go to the gate we've already been at. But now we can burn away the tinder. So we can gain access to Hades' mansion. Wait, where... No, wait, where am I going? I need to go down there. Uh, stab some zombies. The boring stuff is almost over. I mean, we're almost at the next boss battle. And after that, the game will really start picking up some speed. Like you kill every kill a major character like every one or two parts or something after the Hades boss battle. So yeah, here's a couple of archers. Hmm. Just rips him in half. And Kratos is a pretty good archer as well. Go over there. And now we have to fight two. Flaming Cerberus, Cerberi, I think. You burn away the Bramble and the two Cerberi come to life. So you just spam Apollo's bow at them. These things are pretty tough. But there goes one of its heads. Unfortunately, you can't ride these like the ones, like the one I could ride in Pyrethius' chamber. But Kratos just rips their head off, one at a time. Dodge the fireballs, and go get it. Stab it in the head, and rip it off. Oh, that's awesome. The heads explode. Man, this game is so awesome. And there goes the final head, and it dies. Now, the other one... Bam! There goes one head. Oh crap. Should have dodged that. Good thing they're not that tough. Ooh, and another head goes into the abyss. That's awesome. Just let him have it. And then kill the final head. And now, we can go to Hades' house. Just lift this freaking huge gate. While Hades taunts us, he says we're a capable warrior. Yeah, we'll show him just how capable Kratos is in a few parts. Oh crap, it's small dogs. Oh, this ain't that hard. Slam him in the wall. Kick the doggy! Oh yeah, that's great. I mean, it's a good thing PETA probably didn't pay any attention to this game. I mean, kicking dogs is really not something you're... Oh, when you're really not supposed to do that to your dog. Like, break its neck or something. Rip its jaws open. But hey, they're undead dogs, so PETA doesn't make a problem out of it. Ah, oh, hell, they're raping me. Ray Kratos is getting raped by dogs. I mean, I know they did some weird shit in, in Greece back in the day, but that's just scary. And there's a letter from the Barbarian King from God of War 1 and 2. He's asking Hades to release him so that he can have his vengeance on Kratos yet again. I mean, he already came back from the underworld to kill Kratos in God of War 2, so why would he be back another time? I mean, we owned him then, we'll own him now. And Hades welcomes us to his home. Where we have to make ourselves at home, because we won't be leaving. That's scary. Okay, so climb up this tree. The only tree in the entire freaking underworld. 
And open this. Oh, sweet. There's Rage of Sparta orbs in it. So we can use the Blade of Olympus again. But... Okay, so I you know, have to like slice through this gate or something. Apparently not. Let's just stop wasting my energy. Okay. How the hell am I supposed to get in here? Oh, there's some something shiny here. Ah, that opens the gate, of course. Should have known that. Red orbs. Need those since we'll be getting... Ah. Ah, no. It has a timer. I hate that. I hate puzzles with a timer. It's god-awful. I'm, I'm never fast enough. What's this? Some stuff for Kratos to break. And a cart with a pile of rocks. Wait a minute, we can use the rocks to jam the cog so the door will stay open. I'm genius. And there's a couple of furies that just spawn, but let's just butcher them. With the helicopter blade attack. They're not that hard. Ah, damn it. Get off. Okay, so... Twist the gear. The gate opens. Take the rocks and shove it in there. Yeah, I already know I have to use the tree to get up there. This game underestimates me so much. Like the, the game thinks you're retarded. Get off. Okay, so let's see what's up here. A couple of Minotaurs. Okay, let's kill them. Hades is talking in the background again. Slam the Minotaur through the wall. And here we go again. Stab! And he dies. That's gotta hurt, like, like getting stabbed through the back of your head. Oh, and against the wall again. I really like the combat grapple, it's like one of the coolest additions ever. Oh hell, I have to look out that the Minotaur doesn't throw me off the ledge. He's gonna pay for that, for all his ramming and slamming and stuff. By getting to eat my blade. And now there's this long, long corridor up there. And we're going to probably end up someplace bad. You know, Hades has a pretty nice home. I have to give him that. Ooh, there's a statue of Hades here. Like a crank thing. Which moves the statue's arms. And raises something. Oh my god. It's Persephone. And Hades is pissed at us. Stay tuned for uh, for more epic God of War 3 in the next part. See you later.